show you how you can work with uh, Git. Uh, this is a follow-up video on our class uh, lecture. So what I'm gonna do is like I'll show you the basics of how you can work with uh, Git and specifically GitHub. Um, so basically Git is a, a version controlling management system and you can actually uh, control your uh, source code versioning according to um, when it's actually committed and who actually committed and you can manage their uh, different stage of your software development uh, life cycle so for that we use git for controlling our version and as a repository we use github uh, as a host where we actually are putting our code so let's dive in and show you how you can integrate your eclipse with your uh, github uh, repository so first i'm on this uh, uh, eclipse right here so the first thing that i'll do is uh first let me show you here so you go to windows uh and then you open show view you go to other because we want to see the uh, window where we can actually uh, pull uh, the git repository so you search for git and then you have an option for these repositories so for now what i'm doing is like i need the git repositories and the git staging i'll select these two hit ok so what this actually does is it will open up a separate section on this eclipse where i can have uh, access to um, to my Git, uh, GitHub repository so I can make uh, the link between my Eclipse to GitHub. So in the meantime, um, yeah, it's ready here. So let me, what you can do, you can actually drag it around to whichever space that you want to have it. So I'll put it on the right side, on the left side, and I'll leave the Git staging here at the bottom. So let me put it here, perfect. So currently I have uh, three repositories um, for a different project. So I need to add an extra uh, repository to this list. So first I go to GitHub and I'll open up um, my our repository. So you go to github.com, github.com, and then you search for selenium batch 2017 um selenium batch yeah 2017 okay let me go back here find repository i already have it here uh selenium test ng project so once you uh, look for selenium um batch 2017 you'll see this repository basically this account i'm already logged in that's why so if you're already logged in if you go to repositories let me go back here go to repositories so i'm interested on this project selenium test ng project i'll open up the project so this is the project right here so the first thing I'll do is I go to clone or download and click on this drop down arrow and then I see the uh, the URL for the repository. What I'll do is like click on this one. This will copy this uh, URL to my clipboard. So once I did that, I'll go back to Eclipse. So the next step is I need to right click on my um, project explorer you go to import import and then now we have an option to import a git project so you search for git project from git you hit next now we have two options first option is if we have an existing local repository in our system on our local computer 
and the second one is to actually clone a URI meaning uh, any remote repository which is out there on github or it can be on stash or any uh, source uh, repositories so I'll choose the second one because I'm actually pointing to a remote repository I hit next so by default once you have the URI on your um, clipboard you will actually populate this information the URI the host name the repository path you don't have to touch any any of this stuff what you need is you need the username and password so that you can have access to that uh, repository so uh, the username is selenium batch 2017 and the password is batch 2017 that's it so if you're interested to save the password you can check this box and it will save the password for you I'll leave that blank for now there you go so currently we have only one branch on my remote repository which is a master so I don't see any other branch so I'll select the master branch hit next so the next step is it will actually give, an, give us an option to um, designate a place on our uh, local uh, system so I'm saving on my home directory uh, slash git selenium test engine project that's where I want to put it specific for uh, your local uh, copy so I want to put it inside my dev tools folder under dev tools i have um uh, not github let me go down here under java exercise files yeah let me put it there hit save and then i will hit next so what's actually happening right now is you can see it here at the bottom saying it's cloning yeah it's done cloning the project so at this point the project is already cloned to my local machine and if you notice on the left side i see the project is already showing up under my git repositories so the next step is to import this project to eclipse so that's what's uh, asked me on this uh, wizard hit next So it's telling me that this project already exists on the on this uh, existing uh, workspace. So that's because I already have this project saved uh, under another uh, project. So that's why. It's, so for that reason, I need to rename the project, and then I will have it um, saved back again. So let me hit cancel it's not a problem so the problem is I have this project here I need to rename this project because it's pretty much the same project um, with the one I just imported so what I need to do is I go back here you can see I'll go here and right click on it I'll refactor this name to a different uh, name so that it will create any conflicts with uh, my project so I'll go to rename so I'll give this one test selenium web drive so hit ok all right so now now the next step is uh, pretty much since i have this uh repository copy to my local so i'll do the same step that i just did but this time i'm actually getting the project from my local repository so i'll go import right click by doing right click on your project explorer go to import import and then you search for git 
git project project from git next so instead of cloning URI for remote repositories I'll pick existing local repository because I already have it on my local so you can see on the list I'll pick a selenium test ng project hit next import existing projects hit finish there you go now we have it it's ready here so as you can see here I have a few errors on the project so I'll go there and fix it uh, for example I'll open this class there you go it's, it's complaining that web driver is not identified um, this import is not identified if I just expand this one the selenium web driver uh, libraries are not actually um, showing up so this selenium 2.53 the jar file is not actually imported with the project so to fix that I need to go to build paths I'll first remove this one from a build path selenium 2.53 um I go back here right click on the project uh, go to build paths uh, let me go right click build paths why I'm not seeing that build paths did I do something stupid oh come on okay let me do something real quick I'll go here and delete it stuff so I'll, I'll remove it here let me do a real quick import back git projects hit next existing local projects I'll pick test and selenium pick this one and finish it so now I have this project, right click on it. Um, doo -doo -doo. You go to build pass, configure build pass. Uh, so under libraries we need to add the uh, selenium libraries add libraries user library i will pick selenium hit finish let me see if i have the jar files yes i do have the jar files he'll apply here okay there you go now all the errors are gone so meaning my project is ready ready to go so Now I show you the first part, which is actually getting the project to your workspace. So the second part to it is working with staging files um, and committing files and pushing chains to your remote repository. So to do that, you can see we have three sections here. We have the unstaged sections, staged section. And the commit section so on stages where you have um, all the files that you have made change locally and what stage means when you whenever you're ready to actually push them to the remote repository first you need to stage them to this location all you have to do is just like drag and drop them I'll show you that in a little bit and the other thing is once you put them on staging that means they are ready to be pushed you add a commit message and then then you can commit and push it to your remote repository so let me do that uh, let me make some change and show you what that actually means on um, so let me open up this class so I see um, web driver browser 
So what I want to do is instead of browser, I want to refactor this um, So let me control D. Let me refactor this uh, instance uh, to a different name. So I'll give it a driver instead of brother. I'll say this is drive and save it. Now you can see I have a change on this um, test ng examples class. So I'm ready to make my change. To push to a remote repository what i'll do i'll drag and drop it to the stage to the staging uh, section so i'll go here i'll make my commit message updated driver web driver from uh, browser to drive to drive i know this sounds it's a little bit silly stuff, but just want to show you what uh, and how you can uh, push your change from your local to your remote repository. So before I make my changes, let me go back in here show you. So inside this project, so we made one change um, yesterday, a day ago. That's uh, we updated the driver to the browser. Now I'm putting back to. Uh, the browser to the driver. So I'll go back here. I'll commit and push it. So ask me for username and password Selenium batch 2017. Password is batch 2017. And hit OK. Oh, Selenium batch. 2017 um, batch 2017 I think I'm yeah there you go so we just updated and pushed our change to a remote repository so let's go and verify that let me refresh so like a minute ago and make an update web driver from browser to driver just a minute ago if i go back and open up this class file you can see web driver now it's updated to a driver it was chrome but it was browser to a driver so a simple easy change so on the other end whoever is working on these projects next time they actually uh, before they actually make any change what they do is like they go back to their project they do right click and then they go to teams go to team and then you pull uh, from the remote repository that means you get in the update from the repository meaning you'll have uh, you'll get driver instead of browser uh, once they make the pool they can make any updates and push it back to the remote repository so that's it that's in a nutshell how you can configure your uh, git and your github with your eclipse and now you can get your code from remote repository and update your um, local repository and push any change you have uh, to share and collaborate with your team members Thanks so much. So if you have any questions, just let me know and we'll take it from there. Thanks.